Welcome everyone to your channel, AI Fun Fact for All. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Pedro Morgan, I have a PhD in Computer Science. And in this channel, we're going to talk about AI and machine learning and how we can use it in our everyday life to maximize our efficiency. In this video, we're going to talk about Fireship Studio, a new product very recently introduced by Google that nobody is actually talking about it. It helps you to write code and do a full stack programming and giving you lots of capability that make the problem of creating a new app very straightforward and very easy to do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. At first, I'm going to talk about Firebase versus Firebase Studio, and then we're going to create a web-based drawing app from ground up, and we're going to extend it with the Gemini uh, API, and we're going to create everything. Firebase is a company established in 2011, and in 2014, it was bought by Google. Originally, the company was only focused on the backend development. So we can see on the website that it has actually two components, the build and the run. On the build component, it will do all of the different things that you can uh, imagine from building your app, um, the infrastructure, the Google Cloud, and it can provide different products for you. For example, the app check, the ML, all of these are actually some infrastructure or backend development uh, that you have. And then they also uh, provide the products for run, which is basically a serverless solution. You don't need to uh, worry about like how to uh, deploy. It will be same as like AWS Lambda function, which basically run on uh, the function calls, such as like a uh, very similar to the API call and then you can basically generate different things like A B testing and messaging. Very recently, around a week or so, uh, Google Cloud and the Google actually introduced a Firebase Studio. So, Firebase Studio is actually something that will close the gap and it provide also the front end. So, create the whole thing a full stack experience and it can also be integrated uh, with the uh, Gemini API. So, technically, Firebase Studio is a web based IDE and and it's forked from uh, the open source version of uh, uh, the VS Code, so it's very similar to that. And it actually, you can uh, develop the code in there, and you can basically edit it on the fly. So we will uh, see that together, and then it has the option to also uh, deploy it on the Firebase app. So the main question here is that why this vibe coding uh, platform is a lot better and is game changing compared to the other alternative like Devin and Vertex and so many other uh, applications that are trying to replace this uh, software engineer guys. The first is it is basically going to be integrated with the world's most powerful uh, API at this moment, which is the Gemini. So how we can guarantee that is based on the LM Arena. Uh, this is basically, for those who doesn't know, it's basically a platform that's um, in the beginning, you're going to give a, a completely uh, basically anonymous uh, um, to um, LLMs, and then uh, it's going to provide the results for you and then it, it's going to crowd the source the uh, feedback that you give. you're going to say okay i prefer option a or option b and it's completely you don't know which model is which and then after that they're going to figure out i'm going to create this uh, leaderboard of which basically going to rank them gemini uh, 2.5 is actually a lot uh, larger so the uh, score is around 30 score higher which is actually really crazy usually it's like one or two points the second reason is actually it is completely for free so you can see that you get a three worker space at no cost and then you get the google developer program, uh, program which can get up to 30. so google uh, developer program is actually something that you can get it completely for free on the standard version you can uh, get it completely for free so you get 10 uh, firebase studio or uh, you can basically uh, use this um, membership which is the premium one there is an option to get 25 percent off i will put the link uh, for those who are interested we're just gonna uh, click on uh, get it started you're gonna uh, create to uh, this and then you're gonna uh, click accept you're gonna confirm so boom you just get to the app it is completely for free and in here as i mentioned i'm gonna say that an app that look like a uh, tl draw or myro and it's a simple web based drawing board and then i'm gonna click on uh, prototyping with ai in the beginning it will actually create something called prototyping or whiteboarding uh, so the whiteboarding is basically your project uh, overview and it's going to tell you what other things are included for example you have drawing tools you have object manipulation customizing a style uh, zoom and then uh, 
then export images and then you also have some options like color layouts then cartography and then animation so these are actually very helpful things now you can definitely also try to edit them if you want to change but if you are okay and you think that okay this uh, theme and everything actually looks good for you you're gonna say that okay let's let's get started let's prototype uh, this app and as you're waiting it is actually going to create the full app for us there are two things that i noticed compared to other vibe coding that i have tried the first is that it was insanely faster i would say 10 times faster it has some error but then it says that i have detected some error wants me to help fix it so i'm gonna click on yeah the fix error i didn't even do anything it just uh, was going to build up the code and it actually run into some error it automatically uh, applied that and right now it seems to work uh, so let's take a look at um what we have in here we have some line uh, okay uh some circle so it's it seems like it's not working now is when the magic is gonna happen right now we are in the prototyping view and what we can do is that we can change it to the code view uh, so for that you're gonna go on the top beside the publish there is this switch to code so when i click on here then i'm going to make basically this platform that is very look like the vs code as we mentioned it is the um, clone to idx project which is basically uh, a fork of the uh, open source version of the uh, vs code and in here we see that it has access to a built-in gemini model so the built-in gemini model is um, you know, some gemini for example 1.5 or so it's not very powerful so what we want is that we want to increase it and, and basically make it the latest model so why not uh, and then so you're going to click on it and then you're going to choose the 2.5 pro experiment this is the best model that we saw and for that it's going to bring us to this page which is asking us uh, for a gemini api key so if it is your first time don't freak out it's okay and you can basically get the the api key very fast so i'm gonna click on uh, get a gemini api key it will uh, bring me to here uh, which is basically the uh, different api keys um so make sure to uh, consider your api key as your password uh, do not share it with anybody i will also delete my api key after i have finished uh, so in here it's asking uh, me to basically uh, select the project i'm gonna uh, choose for example a gemini api it doesn't matter whatever you want to uh, choose and then i'm gonna do a create an api key so it will create the api key for us and then come back in here and i'm gonna paste this in here so now this one is done i'm gonna close and then uh, basically come back to here and then now i should be able to uh, choose this one which is actually correct and then you see the web in here what i would suggest is that to make this one a little bit smaller and then drag this web into here so while you are working uh, and asking uh, the commands in here so what i did was I, I said create a ribbon on the top to put the different functionalities there so right now i'm not able to see the different functionalities um and then basically like the circular line and so on and then make them to work because it didn't work uh, and then i'm just gonna press enter and then it's asking okay i have recognized this and then it says that okay no uh, i created and you see that this was actually insanely fast uh, so i'm gonna it suggests me to do this and i said okay let's create the file so now it is asking me to update the page.tsx i'm gonna uh, click again and then i'm gonna say okay update so i don't need to basically copy and paste even files there so that's another functionality uh, and ease of use uh, basically you don't need to know like even where to put the files you just click is exactly the meaning of uh, vibe footing and it actually tell us that okay this is what i have done and then it should actually work all right it seems like it is working so right now i can draw i can have a line and then i can have a circle i can have a square and this so i said that uh, make the canvas full width add change color thickness and add eraser so let's see all right it seems like it didn't work the the size but it actually added the delete button which is good now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna switch back to the uh, prototype mode do this and then i can change the thickness and i can do this so these are actually good and then i can see that the eraser also correspond to the thickness which are actually very good now annotator actually works better now so if you click here you're gonna see something like this it's kind of zooming for you and then you can basically take a screenshot you can different uh, options in here let's say for example i choose this one and then i'm gonna say these functionalities does not work as expected and then it will actually send that drawing uh to the gemini and it will try to uh, provide the response to you and at the very end if you want to click 
Now, and publish it you can just uh, come in here click on the publish and then you can basically uh, deploy there so uh, this is the, the project these billing accounts are basically something that's um, you just uh, provide your credit card information and so on because the cloud uh, service are actually costly you don't have one you can basically click on it and, and then after that it will uh, bring you to this page where you can basically add like where your country is and what's your currency and what is your uh, way of payment and then uh, you will go on a monthly uh, basis payment and then after that you're gonna set your environment and you are good to go after you basically click on uh, publish to basically create this uh, uh, for yourself you would also see this option which is a link to the firebase itself and you can basically click on it when you are ready to your deployment and this uh, brings you uh, to the uh, console of uh, firebase and you have access to all of the options that we already mentioned about the backend for example you have access to the uh, authentication you can just say uh, get started uh, and then you can basically add uh, uh, email for example verification uh, and then just save and boom you now uh, your app actually have this authentication so you know who is who and then you can basically uh, charge the users and so on and there you have it guys we went over firebase uh, studio and we talk about what are the different things that we can do with it and how we can connect it to the uh, gemini pro experiment and then how we can actually wipe out your way and also connect it to the firebase to actually use uh, the different backend capability on just a click of a one button and at the end you can also uh, publish your code if you enjoyed this type of video make sure to like it and more importantly subscribe to the channel so you get more information like this i also suggest you to watch about ai agents in here i created a video that i talk about the difference between AI agent and ai workflow and you can watch this video that i talk about how you can use a uh, google uh, gemini api in order to do uh, document q a or basically asking questions about images and so on in complete code thanks for watching and see you until the next one